Hey friendos, Steve here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm going to react to Peacock, to a website. Um, so as many of you know, uh, the WWE Network is basically here in the United States being shuttered uh, as of, I think like WrestleMania, it's gonna go away because they're officially shifting everything from the WWE Network to the Peacock streaming service. Now, if you uh, have been living in a cave or you just don't give a shit about WWE anymore, I don't blame you. WWE made a big deal, uh, like a billion dollar deal with uh, the Peacock streaming service, which is like basically the home of The Office and other stuff. Um, so that the entire WWE Network is gonna be headed over to uh, Peacock uh, because they just gave Vince McMahon a shit ton of money to, to house their material there. So um, there was a release that came shortly after, like a couple, like a month ago or so, a couple of weeks ago. And it said that uh, the, the width and breadth of the WWE network, the archive, the stuff that Steve really, really likes, because I like to hop on there and watch old episodes of Nitro, get nostalgic with some old episodes of Thunder or expose myself to stuff like uh, the very first episode of, of, uh, of Evolve, where you could see things like uh, Ricochet's hair. Ricochet! Anyways, before I get started uh, looking at this Peacock streaming service with WWE content stuff thing, I wanna remind you guys, hit that subscribe button, do it now, and then you can also uh, give this video a thumbs up, unless you wanna give it some time, be like, oh, I don't know if this deserves a thumbs up, Steve, maybe it doesn't. And uh, while you're at it, head over to mfshophere.com. If you wanna help support the Friendoville channel, see what Steve used to do back in the day when he was publishing comic books. I got two available right now, two of these graphic novels that I put out back in 2004 or five, something like that. Uh, so you can check those out at mfshophere.com. I'll sign them for you and send them off onto your way. Anyways, let's hop right into the Peacock Network, shall we? Here you go. You've got Fastlane. Nice prominent spot for Fastlane right here. Um, continue watching. I, I did a little bit of due diligence before actually researching this video. So here you go. I did actually watch some episodes of Punky Brewster and Siren Live Alive as well. Look, I watched the Steven Seagal episode of Saturday Night Live. It's not as bad as everybody says it was. Everybody says this dude was like a nightmare to work with, but whatever. He's general commander. Uh, all right. And then, I, yeah, I watched some. I watched the episode of Punky Brewster. I should do a reaction to that. Where Punky Brewster, it's when the Challenger exploded. It exploded. And the astronauts died. And Punky Brewster wanted to be an astronaut. And they had to bring on, like, a, a John Glenn or Neil Armstrong or something like that. To like, I don't know, make her feel better about dead astronauts. Anyways, and I watched the new Punky Brewster one. It's not very good. Anyways, uh, so yeah, Look, there's the Office. There's Modern Family. Here's they've WWE on Peacock. They've got their own WWE section here. You got some films that are John Wick. That's cool. They got Harry Potter. Whatever. The one cool thing I notice here is that look, WWE has their own tab right here. So that's kind of neat. You know, I mean, that's that's worth some money right there for the WWE. So if you click on that, here we go. We're in the WWE network of uh, of this. So you've got the original. So let's see here. You got 24. You got, so it looks like you got all the seasons, all the episodes 24 on there. That's cool. The day off. That's cool. Show Edge on his day off. Uh, who's this? Uh, Lacey Evans and Natalia on their day. Oh, day off. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Untold is on here is the last ride in here. You know, this is all good and everything. Last ride. Uh, but I want to get deep. I want to get deep into it. Now, from what I understand, the network, all the content of the network is not going to actually be available until SummerSlam. So there's going to be a period of time between WrestleMania and SummerSlam where certain content content's going to be missing. And I don't know if they're going to upload it over that time or if they're all going to keep it hidden until like SummerSlam and then put it all out there. I don't know. Uh, let's take a look. WrestleMania here. It says 35 seasons. I imagine they're going to have all the episodes of WrestleMania on here. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, let's see here. What else is here? Uh, WWE Superstars. That's cool. The Attitude Era King of the Ring Season 4 <laughs> Episode 1. Oh, I don't want to show that. Um, 25 years of Triple H. You got ECW Anarchy Rules. That's cool. 
I'm going to look for, let's see, there was, oh, here, WCW. So they got Saturday Night on here. That's cool. How many episodes do they have? Ten episodes of Saturday Night Season 2. New Blood Rising. That's, you got to watch that. Capital Combat 90, The Return of Robocop. So that's good. So they got some stuff in here. So that's cool. Look, they even cross promote a little bit with things that, you know, like the Young Rock. That's kind of cool for Peacock. They got that on there. They got this right here. Uh, let's go ahead and look for, uh, what do I like? Uh, Smoky Mountain <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> let's look for that. Oh, crap. No. <laughs> Is that even a thing? It's Smoky Mountain, right? What about uh, ECW? Oh, there we go. Look at that. So I get. <laughs> I didn't know that. That uh, 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 what is Donovan's Echo? What is this? Captain Pike and uh, I keep on wanting to call him Donald Glover. What is this dude's name? It's it's uh, Danny Glover. <laughs> I knew it was something Glover. <laughs> you got Battle Bowl on here. That's not ECW. ICW Fight Club Mayhem. Wait a second. What the hell? ECW Russell Palooza barely legal ECW massacre. Okay. What about hardcore TV? What? No results. All right. Let's look for, um, Chris Benoit. <laughs> no, really? Hold on a second. WCW nitro. What? Really? Okay. Just WCW. There we go. There's WCW Saturday night. Hog wild. Uh, watch now. All right, this sucks. One of the things that people have noted on here that is, yeah, I sort of realized too, is that uh, there is no. Look at hog wild cheesy. There is no chapter breaks. So if you go over here to the WWE network, uh, let's see here. WCW Hog Wild. There it is. If you take a look here, you've got, as it loads up, you've got, uh, stop that. Oh, is that Medusa? What's up, Medusa? Dropping it. Look at that. Riding her bike into our chat on Twitch. Uh, you got stuff like, uh, you know, you got all these chapter breaks here. Here, this is Bull Nakano versus Medusa. Dean Malenko competes in a singles match. I wonder who that was against. <laughs> so, quite frankly, the WWE Network is a really, really convenient source. It was a convenient library. Its search wasn't perfect, but it was actually pretty damn good. It was a pretty uh, user-friendly interface. And now the WWE is sort of being relegated to just sort of, you know, one other property under a larger umbrella of properties, um, which is fine. I mean, they got to make their money, but they can't claim that this is a better venue for uh, or a better avenue for, uh, you know, the WWE universe. They're hardcore fans. Um, but, you know, maybe it'll attract more people to what they're doing over there. I don't know. Let's see here. SummerSlam. How many seasons of SummerSlam are there? Okay, that's good. What if I want to go back and watch a Monday Night Raw from like, here, Monday Night Raw. Uh, 14, whoa, 14 seasons. WWE. Se season 16. So on Raw, you right, right now, you can only go back to 2008. What about SmackDown? SmackDown, you, oh my God, you can go back to the, to the year 2019. That feels like just yesterday. Oh, look, they even got the dog food episode on here. But you can't go back further than that. I mean, SmackDown goes back to like 1999. NXT. <gasps> Three seasons of NXT? I can't even go back and see like early NXT? With names like Richie Steamboat? And Adrian Neville? Really? Best of WWE. Roman Reigns' best WrestleMania matches. Got Hogan and Andre. All right. Well, that's fine. What about, uh, what about like freaking, they don't have like, oh, look, they got WXW on here. That's cool. Recently added. Oh, they got Evolve. Okay. That's cool. More episodes of Evolve, please. Season one, one episode. They have episode five. <laughs> they have Evolve five. Why wouldn't they just put the first one on here? That's weird. 
Wow. That's interesting. Um, ICW, Birth of the Stunner. That's cool. Uh, the latest NXT. Um, so, yeah. This is not ideal. So, I'll probably head over to expressvpn.com slash GIR and maybe act like I'm not here in the United States if I want my WCW hog wild with chapter breaks. If I want my evolve, evolve. Look at that, evolve. Here we go. Look at, look at this stuff here. Wait, hold on. I'm going to go back to, look at, look at Ricochet's hair in that, uh, in that thumbnail. That's great. Look at baby Kyle O'Reilly. <laughs> It <laughs> looks like a high school. Looks like a high school audition tape right here. Look at that. Oh, boo, that guy. Anyways, so that's gonna do it for my little tour of WWE on Peacock. Uh, you know what, man? I mean, they, they got to make their money. I guess they got to make their investors happy. I am gonna miss the WWE Network. Like I said, I thought it was a pretty great resource for searching stuff. You know, obviously we like to. I mean, from time to time we do going in raw views. Over it going in raw, not obviously here on Friendoville, but uh, but yeah, you know, uh, if you're an international internet user, you'll still have access to that. So I'm just gonna have to maybe try to become an international user. That's gonna do it for uh, the show today. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Appreciate it. Uh, let us know what. Let me know. I'm the only person here. Well, Lacey's in the other room. Let me know what you guys think about WWE on Peacock. Are you gonna switch over? Are you gonna bring your account over to Peacock or no? Kind of curious about how many of the friendos out there might be doing that. Anyways, till next time, I'll talk to you later. <laughs>